instruction but i just want to make this compress this video in such a way that we just understand how to use this annotations uh, tools so right there this is shapes so if i click on a particular shape see i have it right here okay i can of course once i click here i can expand i can pass your handle with your handle right here but this space is for dragging it all right this is for dragging so once you have this cross sign that means you can actually drag you can also duplicate you can lock it if you lock it means that you can't move it anymore that's what it means by locking you can unlock it all right so you go back here again you can bring back your shapes so you can scroll see you can scroll see lots of shapes let's say you're in a music class you can click here you can bring out a music oh i clicked that many times <laughs> Okay, let me undo see undo undo so i have just one here so i can click this shape this bring it out do the same thing bring out lots of shapes i can bring maybe a call out shape i can drag it somewhere else all right so this is just it right now all right so once you have these shapes right now look at this you can actually come here if you have one shape on top of the, you can order them you can send it to back now look at it see you sent it to back that means this one is in front of it all right now if i bring this i can expand the shape if i bring this shape right here in front i can order it i can send it to back completely if i click outside see it's at the back it's front front at the back so this is how to use your tools right here all right so this is your shape so that's how to use your shape tools shape tools are very interesting and maybe your teacher told you to bring out some shape and everything so you can use your shape tools easily all right so that's that now for this one this one has a since this is a call out did you notice that you can actually write on top of each one of them so let's say for instance i can double click if i double click right here that means i can write on it Yes, I can just write I and then click outside. That's funny. So I don't want to do I don't want to double click. Don't let me use that. But actually, can you, did you observe that if you double click it, your text tool appears? Alright? So you can write on top of it. And then you click outside of it. See it's there, but I don't want that. So I don't want that. You can click this. It's the same thing. If you click this, it comes out here. Then with this one right now, you can type whatever you want to type. Hi, teacher. All right. So that's how to. This is for recording. We've treated this. Now this is for the shapes and also background. Look at background right here. See background. It has some colors for you to choose from. So many colors. Ooh, this is so cool, right? See? Ooh, awesome, right? yeah so look at the background so you can you can make your background funkified even if your teacher didn't tell you to make a background you can just do it just to make it look just to make yours unique but if your teacher didn't tell you to put any shape please do not put a shape please do not put a shape but if your teacher just tells you to create your worksheet after you're done with your worksheet you can decide to put a background just to bring up some light in it see and then you click outside remember what i did again you click right here if you click a background the type of background you, the color of background you want if you click the color of background you want then you have to click outside it's just anywhere outside and you click right there this is it right here all right so i've treated the shapes and i've treated background i've not treated this right here so if you click right here you have photo so in photo right there, if you click it's going to put on the camera of your laptop see mine you put on the camera of my laptop you see right here so i can then come over here i can take a picture of myself and just smile and say mm -hmm. something like that you know just and then click on the picture icon see i've taken a picture of myself yay i've taken a picture of myself see that how cool is that now you can also click right here oh sorry right here so that's for photo now upload you can upload now in c so you cannot upload powerpoint okay you cannot upload microsoft word 
okay you can only upload a picture right here in this activity once you're about to work on an activity you cannot even upload pdf at this junction you can only upload a picture so let's say for instance i just want to upload this picture uh and i click right here see this is a picture so you can upload a picture right here this is a picture all right so this is like a picture anything you want to upload you can upload a picture just an image of something you can upload a picture right there now i've explained this before but let me just say it again this is for your caption so you can write your caption that um, let's say this is your multiplication multi uh, multiplication worksheet all right so look at that and you can also add your voice caption if you want if you want it to be voice then you can record it as a voice this is my multiplication caption check it read it and call me well okay and let's go done something like that okay now of course you can download it if you want as you want to download it into your system no well, let me delete it i don't want that so if you're done with it all you just need to do is just to click outside it already says caption added so these are the ways I've taught you this. This is the label tool. This is the recording. I've taught you a recording. This is to take a picture of yourself. Once you click on this, if you're using a laptop, your, cam your front camera appears. That's if your laptop has a front camera. Uh, if you're using a, a tablet, an Android, an iPhone, an iPad, it's going to take a picture of you. Upload is going to bring out things for you to upload, but it's going to be pictures. Then this is going to be your shapes, and then this is going to be your background. All right, I've taught you all this. This is your glitter. This is your highlighter. This is your marker. This is your pencil. This is your dragon. So if I click here right now, this allows me to drag. This allows me to drag. It allows me to drag. Allows me to drag. So this is like your handle for dragging. Okay. So right now, as I've told you earlier, you can also save it as a draft if you if you feel you're not done yet you can save it as a draft for your mom or your dad to your guardian to to review it before you're done sending it now once you're sure you're done sending it then you click on save so let's say for instance I'm, i want to just record this right now for the purpose of this again just to finish it up so hi mr shagun so i'm done with my math worksheet right now I've seen that you did this one for me, the first three for me, the first two for me. So right now, I, I know, uh, then I did this, three times three, nine, nine times four, 36, three times five, 15, four times nine, 36, six times five, 30, 10 times three, 30, six times 10, 60, nine times three, 27. So you continue like that. And you can even move your things. You can show your teacher what you've done. Everything like, once you're done with it, then you click on done all right so let's click on done so as i've told you you have to wait for this to be green if this is not yet green yeah so once it's green now you can do that now students you'll see this add page the okay, add page is for creating another page that's for creating another page all right, so let's see another page right now. Maybe you just want to write something for your teacher. Maybe you just want to write, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so this depends on how well you can use your trackpad on how well you can use your mouse to left click okay you can choose any color you want and then probably you can even draw a smiley face for your teacher you draw the smiley face for your teacher and then your teacher sees it and you just oh this is so awesome and you're done all right and once you're done you click on this now you can also zoom see the zoom in you can zoom once you click on this zoom see it makes it bigger see the zooming you can bring it back to the normal position 
right here if you click right here that means that you only want to see what you're working on you don't want to see your tools we have to click back here to get your tools back all right so this if you mistakenly click this oops that's a mistake you're not meant to click on this yet it says are you sure you want to exit to you're going to lose your changes so you have to click click on cancel because you, that was a mistake so don't make that kind of mistake so ensure you always click on this